You know, when I was a boy, I lived on a ranch, and my dad had a great big vegetable garden, and gophers were just, oh, he hated the gophers. They were always eating his, his vegetables. So one day, he came up with this idea. We had this old 1953 GMC pickup truck that just smoked terrible. So he put a hose pipe on the end of the put of the truck, and he shoved it down one of the gopher holes and just let the truck idle for a while. And it pumped exhaust through the entire system of the, uh, the gopher hole network. And every once in a while, one would pop his head up, and my dad would take the 22 and take care of that gopher. Sometimes he'd spend an hour or more just sitting out there in the garden, drinking a six-pack of beer, popping gophers. But anyway, I got this client that's got a very bad gopher problem in their backyard, and I tried this technique in my yard, and it worked really, really well. I actually got almost two years of gopher control. So the whole key is just get a, a highway flare, very inexpensive, and you dig out the front of a fresh gopher hole, one that you you see that has just made a new mound. Because you see, they, they plug them up as they go, but when you get a fresh one, you can dig out the front and, and you can get the, uh, the flare inside there. And the key is to use your backpack blower on, on a real slow idle. If you crank it up too much, you'll, you'll blow the, the flare out. But you just want to pump the, the fumes from this uh, sulfur flare through the whole system of, of the gopher hole network and it's not a hundred percent but what it does is it knocks out a big portion of their system and you might have to do this two or three times when you have new holes pop up but what it does is it is it smokes them out it asphyxiates them but it also leaves a really foul scent of the sulfur in their in their network of holes and they don't like that so I moved over to another hole that I found in the yard and sure enough you could see the smoke coming up through the the network of, of gopher holes. Now I'm sure there are other galleries, other passageways that got blocked off. So that's why you have to follow up a couple days later but you pay attention to where the new fresh holes are and just take a scoop with the shovel in the front you can get the opening kind of clear it out. Put that flare down in there and just sit there for a while just let your your backpack blower idle for a bit and as you can see smoke is coming up through the entire network that's not plugged up I think this is a great solution I think it's a great way to resolve your gopher issues um, little dead bodies leave them in the holes they don't like their dead brethren down there but um, it travels a long long ways I was really impressed by seeing the smoke go for such a, a long area. It also uh, clearly identifies where the, the network is. Now there was holes in part of the yard that were a little bit older that there wasn't any smoke coming up. So I'm, I'm sure they're going to be back over there. But, you know, pick up a few freeway flares and, uh, you know, try it over the course of a few days. And every time you see a new hole, pop a freeway flare in there. Before you know it, the whole network of holes that are underground will smell so bad and it'll resolve your problem. Uh, it's simple, it's cheap, it doesn't take that long to do. So I, I highly recommend that you try this. I mean, I've, I've been trapping gophers for years, you know, just get them one at a time. And you have no idea how many gophers are down there. And if you've got a nice landscape, you have to protect that landscape. So I, one of my guys was here and I asked him, I said, go, go look over the other side of the yard and see if you can see any smoke. So he walked way over beyond the, the, the hedges back there. And he was looking around for any areas where the smoke might be coming. You know, I know the network, you know, it goes in all the yards around here. But sure enough, he found a hole that was probably 60 or 70 feet away from where I was I was uh, using the blower and smoke was starting to come out of there I think it's a great way of doing it it's uh, not using a toxin like a, a poison bomb but they can't breathe it <laughs>